think something like visual, like digital visual inspection product, which has been around for a while. Yes, it has. Right. It's not like large language models will help with that probably in various ways, but it's it's not something new. That's been in manufacturing for a while. Robotic assembly lines where the robots can sort of uh, mitigate and, and remediate problems that are happening have been around a while. AI will make it better. I think in the manufacturing process or you know, automated logistics and supply chain uh, uh, tools, like a, a truck that drives itself between your two locations and does a delivery so you don't need a human and you can have parts going back and forth, like whatever it happens to be that you're putting AI in for physical world, for the physical interaction with the physical world, I could see a few areas where there will be companies that come to market with something and then manufacturers yeah. just jump in and they they once one uses it and starts getting an advantage all the rest will i'm talking more about the back office i'm talking more about the um the less tangible stuff in the supply chain where i'm communicating to my suppliers i need parts where i'm i'm collecting from my shop floor uh usage data and information or i'm i'm trying to optimize like one of the things I, one of the reasons I listened to your podcast was I was supposed to do a webinar or, or a, a presentation on AI. Check out the full video in the description and subscribe to our channel for more insights.